Hey everybody, Tyler here at Boulevard Home. I'm standing in front of our refrigerators today and there's nothing worse than reaching for food in your fridge and it's gone bad. If this is happening too often, it might be time to check the temperature of your fridge. So what is the best temperature for your fridge? The FDA and most appliance manufacturers recommend setting your fridge to 40 degrees or below. This temperature slows bacteria from growing and spreading without freezing your food completely. So now let's talk about freezer temperature. It's important to know that the proper temperature for your freezer is zero degrees. Super easy. There may be some exceptions to that, and that may be if your freezer is having frost issues, it may be too low, and you can try adjusting the temperature within a couple of degrees from that zero degree temperature. We've talked about the temperature in your refrigerator, we've talked about the temperature in your freezer. Are there other areas in your fridge that also need to be adjusted? That is a yes. We're gonna talk crisper drawers. One thing people often miss is adjusting these crisper drawers. Nowadays, refrigerators have automatic temperature settings that you can adjust depending on what type of items you have inside those drawers. You always want to adjust your crisper drawers when you're switching out between fruits, vegetables, meats. So always keep in mind what food you're pairing together inside these drawers because this can affect the freshness of your produce such as apples and peaches may give off a lot of ethylene gas. So don't pair them with sensitive foods like avocados. Leafy greens should all be kept together due to the higher humidity, they need to stay fresh. If you have thicker skin fruits and vegetables, these can be paired together with a low humidity setting. And always make sure to keep meats separate from fruits and vegetables to avoid cross-contamination. As we've talked about the different temperatures within your fridge and freezer, are there ever times that you should change that temperature of your fridge or freezer? One example you can reference here is a video that was created by one of our expert technicians, Blake. He talks a lot about that, but a lot of times in the summer, especially if you live in a very hot climate, it is recommended you actually change the temperature one or two degrees lower because the warmer temperature may affect the temperature of your fridge, especially if your refrigerator is in your garage. A lot of these garage refrigerators are in very hot climate, so in the hot summer months, your refrigerator won't stay cool like you're expecting without adjusting the temperature down one or two degrees. One final tip to keep in mind is do not change the temperature of your fridge too frequently as this can ruin the energy efficiency of your fridge. We'd like to thank you for watching today and hopefully this is a great tip to help you keep your fridge at the desired temperature. Like and subscribe to our channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Again, we thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.